In this video, I'm going to show you how to insert content from Excel into an Outlook email. I want to give a shout out to Sasi Kumar who posted a question about this topic and gave me the idea for this video. If you have questions about using Outlook with Python, make sure you leave them in the comments section. Who knows? It may turn into my next video. What we're going to do today is take a heat map table that I have in this spreadsheet and insert it into the email body so that ultimately what I get is an email that looks like this. So if you want to follow along, you can grab a spreadsheet of your own or download this one from a link in the video description. Make sure you save it to your current working directory. That is the directory where you'll be working on this Python script. Next, if you haven't done so already, make sure you pip install pillow and then pip install pywim32. Those are the two libraries required to run this program. I'll include links in the video description. I'm going to be working in Jupyter Notebook for this tutorial. However, feel free to use whatever IDE or code editor that you wish. Go ahead and import all the required libraries. Import OS, win32com.client as client, and finally, from PIL, import image grab. Next, let's set the path to the workbook. If the file is saved in the current working directory, you can use the following code, except replace the file with your file name. The git cwd, which means git current working directory, returns the full current working directory as a string, and we're just adding our file name to that. Now let's start up Excel and open the workbook. If you've been following this series, you're actually familiar with how to do this already, even if you haven't done it, because it's the same method you use to dispatch Outlook. Now to open the workbook, you need to use the workbooks property, passing in the workbook file path as the argument. If you've used VBA in Excel, then some of these commands may look familiar, and that's because VBA uses the same component object model that we're using here. Next, we need to get the sheet that's contained in the sheets collection. As is typical of objects in these collections, there are several ways to get to them. You can use the item property. You can access it by index. And finally, you can access it by name. All right, now that we have the sheet, we need to get the range we want to copy. You can make the worksheet visible by setting the visible property of the application object Excel to 1. I'm going to put in my range here using the range property, which will return a range object. If you have your own worksheet, you'll need to use the range that corresponds to the range that you're copying from. Now that we have a range object, we can use the copy picture method to copy this range to the clipboard as an image. However, we need to pass in a few arguments to get this to work. The first argument is appearance, which specifies how the picture should be copied. I'm going to use one, which means that it should resemble how it looks on the screen. The other option, two, causes it to resemble as if it looked printed. Okay, the next argument is format. The option we're going to use is two, which means it's copied in a bitmap format such as BMP, JPEG, GIF, or PNG. Next, we're going to use image grab to grab the image on the clipboard and then save it to the current working directory as paste.png. You can actually go out there directly and check it out if you want. There it is. If you're enjoying this video so far, it would make me very happy if you click that like button. Hit that subscribe button also if you want to see more content like this in the future. At this point, you can use the quit method to close the workbook because we're done in Excel. Next, let's save the path of that new image into a variable. Again, you can use the getCWD method that I'm using, or you can type in the full path of the file. I haven't mentioned this yet, but the method that we're going to use to insert this into the email is through the use of an HTML email template. This is something that you've already worked with if you've been following this series, if not, I'll put a link up above. The reason I'm going to use this method is that it's the absolute simplest method, and it also happens to give you the most control over where you put the image. Using a more complex method, such as the document inspector, makes this process unnecessarily complicated. This is going to be very simple. I'm going to use two div blocks. The first will contain a message. Then, in the next, I'm going to insert the image. Except, instead of typing in the source of the file, I'm going to put in curly braces so that I can use Python string formatting to insert the image path. Next, we need to dispatch an instance of Outlook and create a message object.
Now we can set the message properties. First the recipient, then the subject, Now we can set the HTML body to HTMLBody.Format and then pass in the image path. If you want to see the results, use the display method to show the message. Finally, you can use the save method to save it to drafts, the send method to send it off, or the delete method to delete the message. And that, my friends, is how you insert content you've created in Excel into an Outlook email. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you post your comments and questions below. I'll see you again in the next video.